Hey YouTube, it's the Handbag Housewife. I'm back to do another video with you today. Today I'm going to be showing you how I dress up and accessorize some of my bags. And I've picked one type of bag to look at in particular, and that is the Coach Cassie. I have many of these bags. Uh, currently I have about 12. At one time I was up to 20 because I like them that much. But I do get kind of crazy and carried away sometimes and I realized I did just that. So what I did is I ended up selling about eight of them. And so now I'm down to an even dozen, which I would like to share with you today. I'm going to start with the larger size, the regular size Cassie. Um, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five of those. So I'm going to start out with my taupe and silver combo. This is a beautiful combo. It's very neutral. I have a chain accessory for it. This is one of the, and I'm going to spell it, but I'll also link these below. It's an aluminum chain by a, a brand spelled X-I-A-Z-W. You can find these on Amazon. I feel like these chains were a game changer for me for the Cassie. I really like to put on the regular chain. I'm sorry, the regular strap on this bag and then have the chain dangle in the front. And then you can wear it crossbody and it's just like jewelry hanging from your bag. The other jewelry I have on my bag is the hang tag. Now the hang tag on this bag, bag has a feather on it, which sort of dresses it up. Um, I get some of these by taking charms by coach apart and then accessorizing different bags hang tag. I have figured out that for me, having a giant charm on a crossbody bag doesn't always work because what I end up doing is as it moves on my body, the charm ends up swinging and slapping and making lots of noise, and that's just not me. So this bag I wear just like this, but I do wear it with the strap it comes with, which is a longer crossbody strap. I'll show you one of those in a bit on a different color. Also, if you want to, the strap is long enough that you can wear it on your shoulder. So I do use these straps um, that I'm going to link below, and I have a couple different variations of them. I have three different colors of them, or actually four, I think, and I love these straps to accessorize lots of my bags. All right, number two is my Granite Cassie. This is a very popular color combination. It's kind of a bluish gray and it's got the black car copper hardware. I have accessorized my granite Cassie with a little Rexy charm. Now this charm actually was clipped on to a strap and I do sometimes use this strap with this bag. This is called, well, Lots of coach lovers tend to call it the Rexy strap because it comes with the Rexy charm, but I don't use the charm on the strap. I like to wear it on the hang tag instead. And this strap is woven with a chain in the middle, and it is just gorgeous with any bag that has dark hardware. For me, it is just long enough to wear crossbody, and if I were gonna use this one, rather than the regular granite strap the bag comes with, I wouldn't have one of the dangling chains. But if I was gonna use the granite strap, I would use one of the dangling chains. You can see I have this on the longest setting on both sides, and it is a little high on me. I'm five foot eight, but it would definitely work. So that is number two. On to number three. This, is a pine Cassie. It is a dark green, again with the black copper hardware. Now this is the first tag that is a Coach Create tag. This tag here is one that I took to the store and I had them make this for me. And anybody can do this and you can even find, you can even find coaches that will let you mail your tags in and they'll do them for you and then they'll mail them back. Man, I cannot get that to focus. Let me try again. There we go. That's about as good as I can get, I think. 
So it has a little tea rose in the middle. That'll cost you $15 plus tax. And then it has rivets. I put three rivets on it or had them put three rivets on it. And the three rivets come in a pack. Oh, I can't remember exactly how many are in the pack, but it's enough to do three or four tags. And they come in different colors all within the same pack. So it helps if you want to do bags that have different hardware options on them. And the pack of rivets is $10. And one thing you need to be aware of is when you do one of these on the back side, and it doesn't matter so much if you have dark hardware, but you are going to have rivets on the back side, which isn't that pretty, like the back side of the rivet. So what I do is I pair them with another tag. I buy a tag from Coach and I layer them so that when you're carrying the bag, when this flips over the other way, you can see something else. And these smaller tags are $8 at Coach. And this one here, I put my initials with a crown in the middle and the stamping is free. The stamping is free. And the tag I believe is $8. So that is my pine green casting. Now this chain, this is pretty heavy and I don't like this one quite as much as my other ones. But if anybody is interesting, interested in this particular chain, it is a really good match and I can certainly find the link for it as well. I had to take some bolt cutters and cut off a little bit of it because it was too long when I got it. All right, on to casting number four. All right, this beauty is in chalk with optic white signature. And I have it paired with a link chain this time. And it actually, I feel like matches really well with the closure there. And again, this one is one that I took a charm apart that I didn't want everything that was on that charm hanging from my bag because it made a lot of noise. So I took the charm apart and I put one leaf from that charm on each side of my hang tag so it's just a pretty little accessory that's not too noisy when you're walking around and this bag I was going to show you how I like to wear these Cassies when I do have one of the dangly chains on there along with it so I will wear the bag cross body just like so and then I will have that chain dangling and isn't that pretty it's just a little bit of jewelry for the bag I have one more of the regular size Cassies to show you, and it's a beautiful pink one. The color is called Aurora. So I'm going to grab that one now. It's got another one of the chains on there. And these chains, by the way, have almost like a diamond cut. They are, again, the brand XIAZW, and they come in an antique gold that matches just perfectly, in my opinion, with the Coach hardware. The last one I showed you was also the same brand, just a different type of a link. And this bag has the black copper hardware. The hardware on this particular bag, um, as well as all the other black copper hardware bags, it matches pretty darn well with these chains, but it's not perfect because these are technically gunmetal. Um, I did, again, I did the rivets on this particular one. I'm gonna see if I can get this to come into better focus. So I did three rivets, kind of a scattered rivet pattern around a tea rose. Again, that middle one's $15, and then a pack of these is $10. And the chains, I think they're around $12.99, but I can link them. So that's my Aurora Pink Cassie. All right, now we are on to the seven Cassie 19s. Now, originally when I got this first one, I did not like it. I did not like the color combination. It's a blush, ivory, and I'm blanking on this color right now. Um, I think it's called natural, if I remember right. Um, I didn't like it at first, but then I bought it, didn't like it, sent it back, and then I found this strap, a beautiful lady in Hawaii. Um, a member of one of the groups that I am part of found two of these straps and she was wonderful and bought it for me. I paid her back. She mailed it to me and 
I knew I had to have this bag again because is that not just the most perfect combination? And you can do a chain with it too, or sometimes with the Cassie 19s, I'll leave the handle on and I kind of drape it in the front like that when I'm wearing it. And then I can use it as a grab handle when I get in and out of the car. So this one isn't Coach Create, but this is a little Coach Charm. You can buy these at the department stores. And I got this one, I think from Belk, but they go on sale sometimes and you can just hang them right off your hang tag. They add a little bit of special pizzazz to your tag. All right, number two. This one doesn't really have anything special going on. She has the regular, the regular Cassie 19 chain on her. And of course, all of these come with crossbody straps as well. And on this one, I had an extra 1941 tag by Coach. And so I put it on this one. I just wanted to keep it plain, simple, and, and elegant, I guess you could say. You can also put longer chain straps on these if you wanted to wear these crossbody. I just found, and I'm going to have to stand up and I'm going to have to go grab it, but I just found a beautiful crossbody chain by the same exact brand on Amazon and the company makes the same finish that they make the other ones in and they even make a few more choices. I would not recommend light gold or yellow gold. I'm, I ordered the gold. I'm going to try that. The silver is great. The, um, the black is great. It's just like the darker um, colored thick one that I use with my regular size Cassie. But look how perfect that chain is with the Coach Hardware. This is their antique gold. And then you can put that on and you have a dressy, elegant crossbody bag. And these chains, they're a flat surface, so they are so, so comfortable when you're wearing them. I mean, is that not just beautiful with that diamond cut on it? Just glistens, I love it. All right, so here is my Fern Cassie 19. This beauty has another customized chain and I wasn't very creative with these. I did them all about the same, but to use all the rivets, sometimes I'd use a star and sometimes I would use the lighter silver since the T-Rose in the middle of this one has both silver and gunmetal in it. And so this is the fern. And on the back side of this one, I just put a plain oxblood tag because if you look inside, that's the, Actually, it's a dark green, that surprised me. But I feel like the glazing is, is like an oxblood, so it's sort of tied in with that. Here is my beautiful sand taupe Cassie 19. I actually found a thicker strap that I kind of stole from a coach tabby that I use with this, and then I kind of pair it with, again, same brand, chain from Amazon, but this is a link and, and a shiny silver hardware. And here is a Coach Create that's a little different. You can get this one done. Um, I think that one's also $15. On the back side of it, it's pretty noticeable because it's dark, but I did have them put a little butterfly in the middle and a stamp. And then this tag here was one, a spare one that I had. And it's kind of cool because it looks, it's one of the coach leather wear tags. Let's see, can I get it to focus? There, yeah. Kind of the same shades. So that is my Cassie 19 in the taupe with the sand signature print. I have three left. We are almost to the end. Okay, so if you want a yellow, yellow gold chain, this one is from Samorga. They coat their chains in a 22 karat gold. And so this chain has a thick layer of 22 karat gold. I got the recommendation on this one from LV Lover CC. She's a great YouTuber. She reviews lots of bags as well as clothing, a lot of clothing from Express. And I find lots of good ideas from her. Um, this tag has my Zodiac sign on it. And it did originally have one of the little clips that came with it, but I wanted to make it a little longer. 
So again, with some of the hardware I had left over from other projects, I added a couple rings so it'd lay flat and in the, in the right spot on there. And with this bag, I use it with this braided novelty strap, which is just gorgeous. Um, all these novelty straps and, and the bags for that matter, you can find these on the pre-love market. You just have to keep your eye out. You know, you put in the search bar, coach novelty strap, coach braided novelty strap, coach Rexy strap, coach chain strap, just any combination of words you can think of so you can find the straps. Um, I did try on the, the one with the granite bag so you know about where this would hit on me and you could either wear it with this chain if you're trying to dress up a little bit or have more fun or if you were trying to play more low-key you could just use it with this strap and you've always got the straps that they come with as well i have two left yay okay i haven't worn this one yet but this little chain strap of course this one wouldn't be long enough to go shoulder but I got this one, which is a pretty darn good match, and it's just a different look to the regular Cassie 19 chain. I got this one off Amazon. It was a set of three, and um, I'm, I have, the silver's like a brushed silver that it comes with, and I don't have a bag that goes with that one, but um, the light gold um, one, it goes with the hardware on the Coach Outlet bags, so if you, um, like the look of this chain it's really lightweight i think it's aluminum too and if you have any of the coach outlet bags the second chain would be a good match for those the color on this is lilac and i do not i do not know this is just i think the regular coach signature print i don't know what they call it in terms of color i know the other ones were sand and optic white but this one i just don't know um this one i just have a little rexy charm that has diamond eyes on it he's really cute if i can get it to focus hopefully it focused at some point my eyes that are more than 40 years old can't really focus anyway so i'm not sure so the last but not the least is my granite cassie and it's a granite color block it has taupe on it granite and then on the sides it is a heather gray so it would really go with heather gray straps you could use i could use um a granite strap from another bag on it but what i use on this one is the same one that i use on my marley that i showed you the other day on the marley trio review i feel like this is just such a pretty match and with the grommets i just love how it looks the hang tag i put I bought a charm that had like five charms hanging from it, and I put one of the charms on this bag, a couple of the other ones on a couple other bags, and then I sold the ones that were left over. But this is a beautiful tea rose with kind of a pearl in the middle, and I love it. So that is the very last of my dozen bags. I have a whole pile of bags at my feet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, one other thing I would like to tell you before I go is that when I am modifying charms and when I'm changing things up a little bit, I just use a jewelry kit that I found on Amazon, a jewelry making kit. And I also have pieces, um, I believe from other kits that I bought at Michael's and different places. And so you can just get one of these. You do need to be aware that you are going to create some scratches when you modify these charms. Um, sometimes you can touch up the paint a little bit if you find a good match. I've used fingernail polish to do that. I've used patio paint to do that. Um, it is really fun to get into changing things like that. The brand on this one is Bead Landing. So I would recommend this set if that's something you are interested in getting. And finally, um, on each one of these hang tags, there is some money on them because the charms I took apart cost money. And so what I do is I kind of protect my investment by putting a shrink tube around each one. There's a little plastic tube. You can buy a kit on Amazon. Man, Amazon should be paying me some money for all of these recommendations. But this is the kit I have. I only use a couple of the sizes out of here. But you just take one of the strips, you cut a little bit off, about the length of the, the part that hooks the two sides of the chain together, and then you just slide that 
around the chain. And what I do is I take like a little cloth and put it un underneath where the uh, shrink tube is. And then I wrap a towel around all that and I blow dry it. And I do that so I don't get the leather and the glazing hot because the glazing in particular could melt on you and you don't want that. And so I just protect it with the towel. I blow dry it. Then I put the blow dryer on the cool setting and I blow dry it some more until it's not hot to the touch. And then voila, your tag is on there. It's not going to come off and you get to protect your investment that way. So give that a try um, if you have problems with your hang tags falling off. That wraps it up. A dozen Cassies, a dozen dress up plans, um, as well as a little bit of crafting. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it and subscribe to the Handbag Housewife. Thanks and have a great night. Bye.